Our next caller is Anthony from California. Hey, what's up, Anthony? How can we help you? Hey, guys. How's it going? Good. All right. So recently, I just finished a powerlifting competition, and I used your guys' MAPS powerlift. And pretty much that's the way I've been training most of my life. Uh, I kind of use your guys' program to tweak it a little bit and do my own programming. But in December, I'm looking to get into the Sheriff's Academy. So I'm trying to change my programming a little bit so I can focus on more like endurance type training, losing some body fat, you know, getting used to doing body weight exercises. But I find that that's really hard for me to do that. Like mentally, I can't get over the fact that I'm going to lose all my strength. I'm going to get weak and skinny. So I find myself always reverting back to doing like heavy weight and low reps. Like the other day in the gym, I was trying to squat and I was like, okay, I'm going to keep it light. And I ended up going way too hard and I couldn't <laughs> walk like the next four days. So how would you get over that like mental block of, I know I'm going to get weaker, yeah. but it's for a purpose in the long run. And how would you program it? Cause like my only idea is just to do a bunch of reps and a bunch of reps and do a bunch of cardio and do hit style training and don't eat. And it's just not working for me. So I was wondering what your guys' input would be. Yeah, pretty, no. pretty, pretty sure we'd all be friends. Yeah. I no. know. <laughs> Very <laughs> common amongst the circle. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, I, I totally understand what you're, what you're going through. So it, I mean, okay. So here's one strategy that could help is you got to take that focus that you have on, on strength and put it on another physical pursuit. So rather than saying, mm -hmm. okay, I'm going to be super strong, be like, I want to be able to move better. I want to be able to move laterally. I want to be able to be more explosive. I want to be able to yeah. rotate, rotate better. You said you're going to be a sheriff. So uh, first off, thank you for doing that. Um, I think what what you guys do is tremendous um, and very valuable. Uh, but the skills that are required to do a good job as a sheriff, physically speaking, are much more than just strength. In fact, if all you mm -hmm. did was power lift, you could find yourself in a bad position if you haven't encountered that long, you know, last longer than, you know, 30 seconds, right? So <laughs> yeah. you, you need to have mobility. You need to have some speed, some strength, endurance. And so number one, use that same focus that you have on strength and focus on movement, range of motion, speed, explosiveness, maybe some stamina. The perfect mm -hmm. program that I would put you in, I think that would be great, would be uh, MAPS Performance. I think a MAPS Performance Workout program for you is going to get you where you want to go performance wise. And then as far as getting leaner is concerned, that's always diet. It's always a diet yeah. uh, component and you do it slow, right? So do a slow cut, like the slower yeah. you do the cut, the less, you know, strength or performance you'll end up losing. If you do an aggressive cut, you'll definitely lose weight faster, but then you'll notice some negatives in the, in terms of performance. I, I, I like map strong here too. So I, I so, uh, and in, if you go performance route, which I don't disagree with Sal, cause I think that's great advice. Uh, performance to strong would be phenomenal. The reason yeah. why strong came to mind when I was listening to you was because, uh, that one of the, I think my favorite parts and brilliance of that program was the first phase is 20 reps. Yeah. yeah. And most people, it's a gasser. Yeah, most people, and then the the work sessions are like intense. So you oh, yeah. talk about building stamina, durability, mm -hmm. and then challenging somebody who is used to working in the five rep range, loves chasing strength. Good luck yeah. doing that with twenty reps. And so, and a lot of people aren't ready for that curveball for that program. They think, oh, it's a strongman focused mm -hmm. program. Right. I'm going to be lifting all these like heavy stones once or twice. And it's no, that's not the way the program begins. And so I, yeah. I love strong and yeah. or performance for Sal's reasons followed yeah. by strong. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I mean, I would, I would definitely try to suggest as a prerequisite to go through performance just because, you know, the movement and, and, you know, the agility side of, of the job and all that is really a big consideration for the long term. Mm. So, you know, like in terms of like thinking immediately what I want, I want to be strong, but I also want to have this explosive, you know, big gas tank and everything, which strong would definitely provide, but let's, let's protect the joints. Let's move better. Let's get used to, you know, multiple planes of movement and being strong and powerful uh, and then build up yeah. your endurance. And then now we're really hammering the gas tank. Yeah, so I, I like the combo of the two. Yeah, because if you go straight to strong after only doing powerlifting for a long time, you're, the risk of injury kind of can get can get up there, right? Exactly. MAPS, yeah. MAPS performance. Plus, MAPS performance is the only program that we have where we actually structured in explosive training. The last phase in, in MAPS performance you're doing like explosive type training. And I tell you what, like, and it's great because it builds you up to that. I'll tell you what, that explosive capacity, 
there's nothing more applicable to what you're going to do than that. I mean, you can be strong as hell, yeah. but when you're yeah. explosive and strong, you're very, very effective. And mass performance builds you up to that point, and then that last phase really incorporates and, it. And to address the cut, I actually think that just switching to that type of programming, you're we're going to probably lean out. Yeah, I mean the the amount of movement that is in that program with the mobility days in addition to that, like, and if you're used to more of a power lifting type of program, long rest periods, heavy lifts, you know, this will be a total shock. To yeah, your body. yeah, yeah, you might just naturally lean out from that. So what I tried to do, because like I said, I tried to do my own programming, but like the first day I tried to do it and I was like, oh, I heard them say to do hit. So I got on the assault bike and like 10 minutes in, I felt like I was going to vomit. Yeah. So I was like, okay, well, let's do some steady state. So then I, I just get into that, that all or nothing mode and I ran over three and a half miles. And then today I'm trying to walk and all my joints are aching and talking to me. So it's like that, that mentality I have is just like, you know, it's all or nothing, you know, all go. And it's just, that's, that's where I'm having that, the, uh, the complications and the problem is trying to follow the programming and work my way into it versus just saying, okay, now we're just going to start just running as long as we can and doing, you know, 20 minutes of hit on the assault bike and making yourself throw up. You know, you, you, you also pointed something else, Anthony, I think this is important. You have the self-awareness to know that you have this tendency to kind of go all or nothing guy. And so even though mm -hmm. we encourage you to modify and change the program, you would actually be somebody that I would challenge you to follow it to yeah. a T. Yeah. I would say use get, that intensity mm -hmm. to go very specific with what we have written out and like, yeah, trust don't the even sway at all. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you got, don't, don't, don't do the don't do the let me throw everything at my body but the kitchen sink approach be methodical you'll get there faster if you mm -hmm. do it this way. you'll get there faster and more effectively if you're methodical so if, if you don't have yeah. maps if you don't have maps performance we're gonna send that to you uh once you get the program you'll like phase one phase one is you know still got the different movements but it's got that strength component but then as you get into phase two three and, and so on it gets very very different so start that mm -hmm. program follow it to a t um, and then watch what happens to how you feel and how you move. Yeah. Oh, I will. Thank you guys. Yeah. I have your maps, power lift maps anywhere. And I'm doing some of the maps anywhere core stuff. Cause like I said, I neglected my core for a long time, but yeah, I'm super stoked. I'll definitely do the maps performance. All right. Perfect. All We're right. sending it over. Awesome. Thank you guys. No problem. Yeah, it's really hard to get out of your own way. You know, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I get stuck in that shit. I, you totally. guys, I love, well, and he's, you know, we, we encourage people to modify their program. And he sounds like he's a smart enough guy that he can do it himself. But here's an example of why you should follow it to a T, mm -hmm. you know, which is typically what we tell most everybody is mm -hmm. follow it one time to a T, like to really like trust the program and the process because there's things in there that we probably thought about that maybe you don't even realize and programmed in there that we want you to do so you can feel and see the benefits of it. And so I would challenge him to follow performance to an absolute T. And then maybe when you go back through it another time, you can start to modify yeah. and play. And plus, with it. I mean, it's if you have that tendency, you know, sometimes you get in your own way. So yep. if it's some if it's if it's written in the program, like, well, I, I know I want to do what I always do, but I got to follow what the program says. <laughs> right. So it's, it's sometimes a good it's a good thing to let go, have someone else create the workout for you, and then you yeah. just follow it because you know what your tendency is. Yeah, you're are. already disciplined and, and you have the hype. Now just put it in uh, you know the right direction that's like yeah. already laid out for you. But yeah, I would generally say for uh, law enforcement, generally speaking, MAPS performance would be the probably generally the best program. Yeah. Uh, for them to follow, and then strong would probably be a pretty close. It's a great follow, so long as they have decent mobility, you know, close second.